everyone it's kayla and welcome back to my channel before we get too far into this video i just wanted to quickly mention that i am getting over a cold right now so if i sound a little bit weird or my voice sounds nasally throughout this voiceover that is why but anyways today i'm super excited because i am finally doing a bujo with me video as you can tell by the title some people on instagram wanted to see how i set up my pages in my archer and olive blackout notebook so that's what i'm going to share with you all today hopefully you all enjoy this video So I just finished flipping through with the month of September so that you all can see the previous spreads. I wasn't sure what theme I wanted to do for September but I did know I wanted to try and use some brown paper that I had lying around in my craft basket so that is what I did for all of the spreads this month. So I actually ended up running out of the brown craft paper so I had to get creative and rip up some brown shopping bags and although the texture of the paper is different the spreads still look cohesive together because brown paper is brown paper at the end of the day so it doesn't bother me too much. So first thing I do when I'm starting to set up a new week in my bujo, I always trace out where I want the boxes first in pencil. And then if I'm using any stickers or scrap paper, I place them down on the black page and kind of arrange them in a way that I think looks best. And once I'm happy with the look of it, I glue everything down. I just started off first by gluing down this larger circular, well not circular, but you know, it's kind of more of a rounder shape than the other pieces of paper that are ripped up. I glued that down first because I knew for sure that is where I wanted to have that. And then I'm going to zoom in so I can work on the header for the week. So for the header, I'm just going to write what month it is, which is September. I really wanted to try doing this kind of bubbly looking font but it ended up not working out for me, so I erased it a couple of times. I ended up getting frustrated because as I was erasing, you guys will see in the video, but as I was erasing it, the paper kind of curled up on itself and it was just getting really frustrating. So I ended up doing the font off camera, but I'll show you all what it looks like when it's finished. I was super frustrated that this font did not work out because I really wanted it to work but I think I'm gonna try again for October I always see people do this font in their journals and it looks really nice so I'm gonna attempt for October I think it will go nicely with my October theme I'm super excited about my October theme by the way it's something that is kind of near and dare to my heart it is not anything like halloween or you know typical pumpkins and scary spooky stuff it's gonna be something that has halloween elements but not really a halloween theme so i'm excited to do that i have to just wait for some things to come in the mail i always end up waiting till last minute to get my stuff together but it will eventually be done as long as i get it done that's the most important thing all right, so this is the finished font that I chose. I just went with my normal basic cursive and I'm going to glue this down. I did put glue on it off camera. I glue everything off camera and then you'll see in the video that I'll put it down on the page. I just felt like it was unnecessary to have me gluing things down on like on camera, if that makes sense. So. Yeah, I put the glue on the back of that and now I'm just gluing it down. I'm going to move it up a little bit because I realized that I didn't leave enough space for the headers that I made. So I'm just going to move that up. I do have a quick tip for you all. If there's anyone else using the blackout notebook from Archer and Olive, if you are gluing something down and you have a little bit of glue sticking out from the edges of whatever you glue down, you can always take an eraser and erase the glue. 
once you erase the glue it will kind of curl up and you can just easily dust it off your page which is nice i'm not sure if it works like that for every other archer and olive notebook but the blackout paper in the archer and olive notebook or the blackout journal from archer and olive the pages are super smooth so it's easy to peel things up if you need to without ripping the page so yeah just wanted to mention that to you all I'm going to go ahead and outline the boxes with white pen, obviously. This pen is the Sakura Jelly Roll pen in the 10M tip. I don't normally use a tip this big, but this pen is really good for like filling things in and of course outlining stuff. So I am using it for this video. I know you all can see my little curls peeking up out the corner of the video. I apologize for that. I guess I didn't realize that my head was in frame. That's going to happen a few more times throughout this video. So just bear with me, y'all. It doesn't last for too long, um, but it does, it does happen from time to time. So I apologize. In my next video, I will be more mindful of that. So I know that you all see that I am doing this sort of sketching motion with my hand as I am drawing the line. You do not have to do that with this pen because the ink flows out really smoothly and it's a larger tip so you could just go down and get one straight line. But I am naturally someone who does sketching motions when I am doodling or drawing or anything like that. So that is why my hand is doing that. It may be unsatisfying to watch for some people but I can't I can't control it it's literally a habit that I have when I am drawing or putting lines on a page so I left the tops of the boxes unlined because I'm gonna do these kind of quarter lines on each side because I want to make sure that I have room for my headers and make sure that they are at the top in the center of each line. So that is why the top of the boxes are unlined. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. I just put one header down and then by the power of editing all of my headers are now magically on the page so next I'm taking my eraser and erasing all of the pencil lines or if there's any bits of glue peeking out I'm just gonna get rid of that so I have a clean look on this spread now for the fun part we're going to try to incorporate some washi and stickers this washi that i'm using here is from aliexpress it's a thicker roll i i think it's a 20m roll um but it's a really pretty light gray grid washi it's a little bit tricky to get off the roll but once you get it off the roll it's really it's really nice and it makes your spread look great
Next, I'm going to take some stickers from Dolce Planner. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I feel like I pronounce it differently in every video that I use these stickers in, but hopefully I got it right this time. I absolutely love Dolce Planner stickers. She makes these beautiful girl stickers in her shop and they're just amazing. You can use them on pretty much every spread and any planner. So today I'm going to be using the Cozy Fall Girl stickers. I love this girl. I love her gray hair and I think it looks really nice with the skin tone I chose. She does have three different skin tone options. There's a light, a medium, and a dark. This one is the dark skin tone and I just absolutely love her. So I'm going to try to incorporate these stickers on both sides of the spread. I also forgot to mention that I do have a coupon code for Dolce Planner, which is Kayla Plans It All 10. You can use that code to get 10% off of your order when you spend $10 or more in the shop. Then I ended up putting these stickers down, but I'm going to peel them up because I realized that I also wanted to have washi on this side of the page. So I'm just going to peel those stickers up real quick so that I can put some washi down. Next, I'm taking some script stickers from Paper Kumiko. Free and love Paper Kumiko. She doesn't have these exact scripts in her shop anymore, but she does have ones that are similar and you can get them printed on premium matte paper or clear glossy paper. So I will have a coupon code down below for you guys so that you all can get 10% off of your order. So definitely make sure you check in the description box before you leave. That is where I will have all the links and all the materials and stuff that I'm using if you are curious about anything in this video. So now I'm just going to trace over the script. This part took me a really long time to do, especially because I was going super slow and I traced over it a few times. So I tried to speed it up as much as I could in this video, but it took me a really long time to do.
Next, I'm taking my white pen to make these little swatches next to each day of the week. I'm just going to be writing the number for each day on those swatches. Next, I'm doing a quote. I really have been loving putting quotes in my journal recently. This one says, life starts all over again when it gets crisp in the fall. Since this is a fall themed spread, I thought it would be nice to use that quote. I think this is also the first full week of fall that I'm doing this spread for, so it ties in perfectly. As I said, I really like putting quotes in my journal these days. I think it looks really nice and it just helps take up space and it kind of acts as a filler when you don't know what to write so love having quotes in my planner or journal As I said before, I always write things down in pencil first to make sure I like it the way that it is. And then once I am happy with it, I go ahead and trace over it with pen. So I went ahead and I slowed this part down so you can see how long it actually takes me to trace everything over. It takes me a long time. I go very, very slow with this because I don't want to mess anything up. So I slow this down to normal speed so that you can see how long it takes me to do this. Also, I think at this portion of the video, the sun was starting to set. I am using natural light for this video and the sun was definitely going away. So I think the lighting may look a little bit different. I did try to fix it in editing as best as I could, but yeah, I don't know. Hopefully it, it, it doesn't look too bad to you all. So now I'm writing the numbers in for each day of the week. This is another Sakura Jelly Roll. I believe it's in the 06 tip. I'm not sure if this is the smallest tip they have, but it's one of the smallest. And it just writes really nice and fine. So I'm just using that for the numbers. Thank you. 
Alrighty, everyone. So that is going to be it for this video. I'm going to go in later and erase all of the pencil marks on the quote and stuff like that. But this is basically the finished spread. I think it turned out pretty good. So here it is all zoomed in so that you all can see it up close. I'm just showing you all some of my favorite parts of the spread, like the quote. And the girl sticker i really hope that you all enjoyed this video please let me know what you think in the comments down below and i will definitely see you all in my next video peace